so hi viewers welcome to our channel the via english speaking academy in this video we are going to have one by one online class english speaking practice with a student joining from the southern part of india the state of tamil Nadu. And then i am so happy to talk to this lovely student so dear students first of all i just want you to introduce yourself Thank you sir for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Sir Aradhana. I am 7 and of years old. My school name is Shanti School. I am studying second standard. My mother name is Sindhuja. My father name is Rakesh. My mother is a homemaker. My father is a businessman. My favorite color is all the colors except black. I want to become a doctor. Thank you sir for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Very good. Excellent. I am going to tell the story named Honest Cow. A Honest Cow. Once upon a time, there lived a cow in a village. It lived happily with her child and her friends. It always speaks the truth. One day, the cow went to the forest in search of food. A hungry tiger came there with roaring sound. The cow tried to escape, but the tiger rounded it up. The cow told, Tiger, please leave me. I have a small baby. Please don't eat me. The tiger told, I will not leave you just like that. The cow again requested, I promise you, I will come back tomorrow morning. This is for my baby. The tiger told, Mm, you are giving me a promise. Mm. If you fail to come tomorrow, I will eat you and your baby too. The cow ran to its home and explained the situation to her baby. The baby cried and said, Mommy, 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 don't go, mommy. Don't go, mommy. Who will sleep with me, mom? Who will... Feed me, mom. Who will hug me, mom? Who will kiss me, mom? Don't go, mommy. Like that, the cough told. The next day morning, the cow asked her friends to take care of the baby and reach the tiger's place. The tiger was shocked to see the cow and asked, You came here to die? The cow told, No. I promised you, I will keep up my words. The tiger was pleased by her sincerity, morality and honesty. The tiger was pleased by her sincerity, morality and honesty. Now the tiger promised the cow, I will not harm you anymore. You can go to your home. The cow ran to its home happily. Moral. Always speak the truth and be honest. So friends, always speak truth and be honest. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Good storytelling. <laughs> I appreciate you. Nice. The way you are telling the story, now what happens? You studied this story and then after studied, you have memorized it and you have got some ideas how to speak it, what will come the next incident, how was the story, what happened, the who said, when cow said and then the tiger said. These are the incidents that you have remembered and then you have practiced a lot about it. That's why you are able to speak it. But then I want you if we ask you any topics instantly we should have ability to think on that particular topic maybe not very deeply some ideas like for example in the same manner i gave you the topic school talking about school so you cannot say this topic exactly the storytelling you said about the honest cow but when i say you to speak it you should speak at that time also about your school something like this not 100 percent 50 to 60 percent 
I like my school, I go to my school and then I play with my friends, my school name is, it is located at and then there are a lot of activities, the teachers are so kind to me. My school bus, I think it comes 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock and then I do my homework also and this just keep on speaking, not like one one sentence, it's maybe two minutes or one minute. But when you when I say you to describe about school, automatically the words, sentences, activities, thinking related to that topic should come in your mind in English language. At least to, at least to talk about this particular topic one minute or two minutes. When you are talking about it, so it should not be sentence based like one sentence and then stop it. The way you are telling story, the same way if you keep on speaking, that will be more better for us because that gives the confidence for you that yes, you can speak English. The idea you have, the knowledge you have, the sentence making ability in your mind in English language related to the particular topic which you know is quite enough without memorizing that. That's okay for you? Yes, sir.